Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Remick and welcome back to more Virtues Lost World. We are jumping back in time slightly. Um, some of you may remember, um, I have double uploaded. Um, basically, you may notice in the last episode I made a cut. Um, this is going to be double uploaded right after that episode. Um, but basically, that episode was getting too long and I realised that halfway through recording and I also had to leave. So I thought, I'm going to redo this dialogue section. And we'll follow it through, all the way through to the end this time. Um, for context, we have just betrayed K, and um, yeah, the rest of this is it's stuff we've already seen, but it's a good refresher. Um, if of course if we allied, then um, whatever we'd call it, K would have escaped. So you picked betray. You don't feel bad about it or anything. Okay, yeah, I guess that's fair. Sigma san ma kyoryoku o erabu to omotte imashita. If I had, then you'd have 9 BP right now, wouldn't you? Nice try, but I'm not gonna let you get out of here that easily. Sakihodo mo moshi agemashita ga, BP ga 9 ni natta kara. Yeah, well, I considered that. Didn't seem likely. Well, this is the guy who told me to trust him so he could betray me. Mercy is refreshing, but that's really not the brightest move. よつばも裏切りか。協力を選んでくれれば俺は9点になったっていうのよ。協力なんて選ぶわけないでしょ。ディオが9になるかもしれない状況で。四つ葉が協力を選ぶと考えるならば、まずおかしいな。頭悪いんじゃない。ち、名前気なやつだな。So クオークが脱出するのを警戒しとるのか。まあ、彼が脱出してしまったら私たちは出られなくなりますから。ふん。この場にクオークがいなくてさぞほっとしとるのじゃろ。わわわわ。Don't <笑> ゲートが閉鎖されました。アンビデックスゲーム第3ラウンドは星の回です。ゲートは星のマークが記されたカードキーにより解除されます。なおこのカードキーの使用回数に制限はありません。これを用いることにより。Okay. As many times as we want, huh? Then that means we can play the AB game over and over using these star keys, right? So,いうことになりますね。その星のカードキーはどこに? Yeah, that's right. I forgot to tell you guys. Take a look at the map. There are three white doors in the 4B warehouse. 
白の扉かもしかしたらクオークはその先に B 階の倉庫じゃったな Yeah, but you're not gonna be able to get through them until they open at least. We've still got more than 80 minutes until that happens. So many are no car. Sugiva Shiro Nari, Bangur no Iro, Kumia Sinus. So is it in a Bangur no Iro, Kakuni Stuart Hoga Yosa Soda. Yeah, looks like they've been shuffled around again. Yeah, looks like they've been shuffled around again. Looks like I'm a blue solo. 私は紫色のペアだ私も同じ紫色のペアですお前と組むということかまディオよりはマシだな<笑>なんか言ったかディオは何色なんだ<笑>ああそれは緑のソロだ<笑>おいなんでため息つくんだよ気にするな What about you two? わしは水色のペアじゃ私も水色のペアちなみにアリスさんとルナさんの番組の色も変わっています二人とも黄色のペアですね<笑> Then what color is fork? 赤のソロだろう白の扉を開けるには赤青緑の三色が必要だ But souls can't group together, right? Dakara pair banga, Murasakiro, Kiro, Mizuro Nina Tirunjanaika. Akato Aono Bose Shokade. Okay, that's small. Akato Midorino. Mizuroa, Aoto Midorino Bose Shokada. Stagate Murasakiro to Midorino Kumiawa said, Shiro no Tobira ni Hai Kotoga. I see. さてと時間になったら B 階の倉庫に行けばいいんだろあとは好きにさせてもらうぜ Where do you think you're going? ここじゃないどっかだよ殺人犯と一緒にいるなんてごめんだからな往々にしてそういうやつが次の犠牲者になるものだなんだとあるいはそういうやつこそが殺人犯というパターン俺が殺したとでも言うつもりか少なくとも一番疑わしく見えることだけは確かじゃねふざけんなよクソじじい Hey, knock it off! We don't actually know one of us is the killer, do we? しかし本物はゼロゼロボスは間違いなくこの中にいるはずですそして今のところ殺人犯とゼロボスがイコールである可能性は非常に高いと言わざるを得ません。Why did he kill Alice and Luna now? Zero Senior wanted any of us dead. He could have done it way before this. But we were, I don't know, unconscious, for instance. What's the point of setting up this whole game just to kill off two of your participants halfway through? だとしたら、わしら以外の全く別の殺人犯がこの施設の中にいるというのか It's possible. I think it might be a good idea for us to all look for the killer. ここでじっとしていても何も始まりませんそうじゃなわしもクオークを探さなければ探すなら二人組になるのがいいだろう How are you going to pair up then? 俺はケイトは組まないぜ二人きりになった途端にぐさっとやられちまったらかなわんからなだったら私だってディオだけはいやわしもディオはごめんじゃな I guess we'll stop with Dio 非常に不本意ではあるが私がディオを引き止めなんだその言い草は一番褒めないであろう人選だと思っただけだ
それにどっちにしろ次の探索ではどうしたってディオとチームを組まざるを得ないわけだしなだったら今組んだって同じだろレスター私はシグマさんと組みましょう嫌、oh, yeah? ですか No, I guess you're okay. So, Naruto, was she a Yotsuba to Kumu to you, Kotojana? So, me tied on it. Looks like we're all set. There are attached to a kind of Mizero no Tobirakara, B kind of no Tobira no Saki or Shirabe. Washirawa, Murasaki no Tobirakara, Akano Tobira or Shirabe. That leaves us with the yellow and green dolls then. Once we're all done, let's meet in the floor B warehouse, alright? Wakata. Suredewa, Mata Ato Dena. Okay, so. Infirmary. Alright, I stopped recording around this time, so. Everything from here is as blind as it can be from someone who's played through the game once before. There's no one in the infirmary. No quark, no killer, at least as far as I can see. Oh, the old woman. Oh, yeah. Like, I think everyone forgets about her, um, generally. Anyway, she was lying silently on the bed furthest away from us. If it weren't for the blood stains on her chest and arm, her peaceful expression would have fooled most people into thinking she was just asleep. Okay, I was gonna say the te game text scroll was weird. The blood had dried and darkened, and now she looks like any and now looks like any other stain. That was when I noticed it. Huh? Wait a minute. Look at her wrist. Yeah, for some reason there's no blood on this part. A watch? Oh yeah. A watch, huh? I don't know, it just looks like it was kind of wide for a watch. Is it a bracelet, Sigma? Aren't women's watches usually thinner? Jewelry? You mean like a bracelet or some... Why did I see it sooner? This is the same size and shape as our bracelets! Look, look, it's exactly the same width. Is Sigma defiling a corpse to prove a point? She was wearing a bracelet when she was killed. She was a participant just like us. Okay, is something wrong? Yeah. Where did the 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 then that means they've been holding on to it this whole time. They've probably still got it. No, wait. If they've been carrying it around, the sensors in the chromatic doors would have picked it up. Without the right combination of bracelets, the second area door would never have opened. Well, 
What are you saying? Honey, ma, who bought the bangle of Tekubini Hamedita? So she also like, Ima de Mosoreo Hamedzukatil. So you put it in the night. Oh no. So the kill was running around with the old woman's bracelet. Eh. And you're telling me that probably wearing it? So this.心臓が止まれば、バングルは外れるようになっている。確か06崎はそのようなことを言っていたかと思います。ですから犯人はローバーを殺害後、自動的に外れたそのバングルを拾い上げ、自らの手首に。ノナリーゲームに参加するためではない
Golem Bay, okay. I remember the Golem Bay being on the right hand side. The main question is I have, we don't solve this puzzle in this route, so why is it here? Maybe, but what sort of work? Well, we're here to find Quark, not look at the workbench. You go check out the far end, alright? Nothing. He's not here either. Hey, Kay! How's it going over there? Kay! Can you hear me? Kay was bent over with his back to me, peering underneath the thing that looks like a workbench. What the hell? I walked towards him as I spoke. Hey man, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah. I bent down and saw he was staring at something that appeared to be a safe. It's empty. So, this Was there something in there before? Yeah. Okay, so Hi. who solved this puzzle then? Then what are you doing staring into an empty safe? Who solved this puzzle? The safe is open. Unless, like... No. Okay, I'm gonna pause real quick. Okay, because, again, I played through this game but I don't remember a lot. So, I'm assuming they went and solved the treatment center since that room is open and... From what I'm gonna think, I'm pretty certain Quark is in the treatment center. So the treatment center most likely has been solved. So that begs the question as to why this room is unlocked, and um, mainly who has opened the safe. Now, um, I'm just gonna check which escape rooms I've done really quick, as uh, to not spoil anything. Because uh, in the event I haven't done that escape room, I'm uh, remembering a completely different... Um, okay, so... I haven't solved this puzzle. Um, it's in the Betrayer out of Lunas, but there is something specific in the safe that I am certain Kay has just picked up. Um, the Golden Bay is probably my, one of my... It's one of the puzzles I prefer. Yeah, yeah this is exactly what I'm on about. They've gone to the treatment center. So, so you're saying they didn't go here? だと思います。ですから疑問に思ったのです。この金庫を開いたのは果たして誰なのかと。Me and Kay are on a whole other wavelength today. Well, there's no point in thinking about it. We should get back. もう一枚のオープンの方を調べてみるのですね。Yep. Let's get moving then. Alright. Treatment center. Hopefully we find Quark. Though I doubt we're gonna get make it to the end of this route. Chances are we'll end up dying. So this is the treatment center. Oh, it's like the beautiful low poly jellyfish in the corner. Don't you think that's kind of strange? Until now, all the chromatic doors have led to a single room each. So why are there two rooms on the other side of the green door? So, not in this room. We can talk to the others later, I guess, and see if they know anything. Kay and I split up and began to look for places where Quark might have hidden. Or small holes he might have escaped through. Someone's in that pod. The screen is blue. It's there. Sigma! Please, please. He's in there! He is in there! 
I knew he was in here. Look! No. Oh no. His bracelet. It's. Oh god. What? I quickly pressed the finger to Quark's wrist. It was faint, but his heartbeat was there. He he's alive. He's alive. You got that. Ah, Kay's such a good guy, even though like he gives off a bad guy vibe. I lolled and grabbed Kay in a bear hug. Or at least as much as one as I could manage. He patted me on the back and shared what I thought might have been a relief chuckle. But if he's still alive, why is his bracelet off? Zero Junior said it would only come off when you had died. Zero boss got what? Why? Maybe Zero Senior brought Quark here and put him in this pod thing too. Well, even if he did, we won't have any way to know why. He's sick? What has he got? It's obviously bad course. Yeah, I bet. You think you can carry him or...? Yeah. それはやめておいた方が賢明かと思います。先ほども申し上げましたよ。クオークくんは今何らかの病を患っている可能性があります。もしもそうだとしたら、ポットの外に出すのは危険です。彼は今治療中なのですから。ポットのカバーを閉じ
そうかそれはよかったったく心配させやがってあのクソガキめですがですが完全に安心できるという状態でもなさそうどういうことだクオーク君は何かの病気にかかっているかもしれないですそれで治療用ポットの中に大丈夫なのか<笑> yeah, he'll probably. 多分ってお前まいいじゃねえか生きてただけめっけもんだろ I just realized we don't have quartz bracelet 殺されてなかっただけよかっただろそういう意味だよ相変わらず口の減らない人ですねどうもありがとうさそれで見つけたというのはクオークのことだけかさっきはいろいろと言っていたが<laughs> yeah, I'll explain that after s a m u e l Jean c l o v e r get back. There's something I wanted to ask you about first, though. When you went through the green door, did you search two different rooms? Yeah, it's a little bit. I see. Then what was the other one? Ano Tobira to you know. You know, where there's that inter intersection with three doors? Well, when Kay and I went there, two of the doors were open. open. It's so difficult to predict what it's gonna say, but I'm getting better. You guys want the one that went to the treatment center when you went through the green door? But the other one. Ore t a c h i j a n i z e さっきも言った通り、俺たちが開いたのは治療室の扉だけだからな。ということは、ゼロボスか I don't know.、うん、ところで、そのもう一枚の扉の方にも、シグマとケイは入ったのか、yeah. 中には何が、Nothing really. 何かを整備するための部屋のようでしたが。たく、わけがわからねえな。そのもう一枚の扉を開いたやつは一体何がしたかったんだ Who knows? そにしても天明寺さんと四つ葉さん遅いですね探しに行きましょうか No, there's something I want to check first 調べて起きたいこと This is gonna be a long episode. I know exactly where we're going. Koko a Gorak is to dana. Saki Kuoko so sakste ta tokini. Matash to Dion of Tari de Otozeta Bashoda. Daga do stek on Natogoni. Saki was shirabe to Kitai Koto Gare to Kaite Taga. Oh, yeah, that's something I need to see. I said nothing and then said my way over to the cabinet. Inside was the luminal. I reached in and pulled it out, then headed to the light switch and flipped it. The room went dark, and I headed back to where the others were still standing. Oi, oi, nanda yo. Kai dan banas demo oppa jime o ってのか Why? You scared of ghosts? <laughs> Then show me how brave you are. Stick out your bracelet. You s e e five, please. Bangalore? Yeah? I want to see the underside of them. I mean, the side on the bottom. The side that doesn't have the display on it. Can you really want to make me explain this? そんなことは分かってる。一体お前、何を企んで。Just do it! It's not hard! 私も、ですか ?No, you're fine, Kay. Your bracelet is a little different from ours. Well, I'll join in just to make it fair.
There was a brief moment of hesitation before Dio and Fice took out their arms. I held mine out as well, wrist pointed upward. Yeah, just hold it like that for a moment. As fast as I could, I pulled the luminol from my pocket and sprayed it across all three of our wrists. Dio jerked his arm back with a shout. Don't see anything glowing. Vice bracelet is clean. So is mine, of course. I'll explain in a minute. Just show me a bracelet. There's something wrong? Just show it to me. Come on, Dio, we don't have time for this. Because I'm trying to prove your innocence. Then just show me your arm! As he spoke, Dio made a break for the exit. He didn't get thawed. He spun around towards the other exit. Stop him! All three of us leapt at Dio. Wow, there's actually an animation in this game. <gasps> Ooh, I knew it! This bracelet's glowing! Then that means... Dio, we killed the old lady. As quickly as I could, I explained to Fi what Kay and I had noticed on the old woman's wrist. Yeah, exactly. Even if they'd wiped it off, I figured the Luminol would still react to the blood. Looks like I was right. We've got you, Dio. You might as well confess. Well, あ、<笑><笑> So your orders were more important than Alice and Luna's lives? おい、勘違いすんなよ。俺はババアを殺した件についてはみとめるが、他は知らねえ。アリスとルナをやったのは別の誰かだ。That wasn't you? シグマさん、騙されてはいけませんよ。こんな奴の言うことを信用できるわけがない。本当だって。信じてくれ。仮に信じたとしても。危険人物であることに変わりはない。少なくとも人を一人殺しているわけだからな。その通りです。どこかに閉じ込めておくべきでしょう。野放しにすればまた誰かが死ぬことになるかもしれません。どこへ置いてもいいんだ。鍵をか
おとなしくしてるって Yeah, I think you're onto something, Kay. Let's go with that. We'll let you out when the white doors open. Someone's going to need your bracelet to open the secondary door. I love Dio's voice actor, he's so over the top. Like, 10 out of 10 voice actor. I know I keep saying it, but really. I don't think so. So, I guess we figured out who the murderer was. And we found Quark. Yeah. Good point. Okay, are they here? Huh. Looks like they aren't back yet. Oh, man. Um, now we've got to go look for them. It's only been 32 minutes in game. So that's it. もう少し、ここで待ってみないか。行き違いになってもなんだし。ケイ、ダイノルド。ところで、シグマ、ケイ。待っている間に一つ聞いておきたいことがあるんだが。おや。バングルの件についてだ。あ、あ、was なぜだ。ハウシュライノ。見つけた時にはすでに外れていたのです。では、そのありかもわからないと。プリマッチ。そうか。そいつは弱ったな。クオークのバングルがなければゲームを続けられなくなってしまう。わ。CDの台に扉
ほら緑の扉の先に3枚の扉があったでしょあのうちの1枚は何者かによってオープンの状態にされていたあれと同じことですよ、well, that's the rules. ええ分かっていませんですが扉を開いたのがゼロボスだったとしたらルールも減ったくれもないのではありませんかこのゲームにおいてはゼロボスこそがゲームマスターのようなものですからねつまり四つ葉か天明寺のうちのいずれかがゼロボスだと可能性はありますそう考えれば2人が姿を現さない理由も説明できるかと2人はクオークのバングルを持って白の扉の先に進んだ If they did, we won't know where they went until the doors open for the rest of us. So, now this one. This is still all just speculation, though. Maybe we should go look for them again. One of us can stay behind so that we don't miss them if they come back. わかったそれでは私がここにとどまろうでは私とシグマさんで2人の捜索を CD が解放される5分前には戻ってこいよあそうそうディオを連れてくるのを忘れないようにな Of course OK so we're off OK r e d d o r I can't think of where they're going. Pantry? Okay. The music stops, I'm kind of scared. This is the pantry. I hate this puzzle with a burning passion. Well, it looks like they're not here. クオーク君捜索時の2人の担当箇所は赤の扉の先すなわちこの部屋のはずですが Not gonna do us any good to hang around here though Let's head upstairs わかりましたか I swear I could see something else on the map moving there in the bottom right. That probably is just a visual error. So, we're probably gonna end up at the crew quarters, I think. But I really hope there's not four dead people in there. That would suck. Oh, never mind. Okay, lounge. This is getting weird. No one here either, huh? Tell me, Jules Scott, so much I thought we might find him here drinking some. It was around that time that I noticed Kay was acting strangely. He was staring at the shelf of alcohol in a way that I probably would have described as blankly if I could have actually seen his eyes. Hey, what's up? You want a drink? Oh, yeah. I want to drink a drink. Right. Sorry, that sucks. Honestly, I got so used to the suit, I kind of forgot you were wearing it. Why the heck did they make you wear that thing anyway? You still don't remember anything? 
実はそう徐々に Really? What did you remember? 父のことです When, when dad do you remember that? Did it just pop out of nowhere? ふざけないでください私は真面目に言ってるんですよ Sorry So, you remember who your father was? ええ What about your mom? どうやらいないようです私には母が Oh So your dad raised you? ええまあ Okay Kay stopped for a moment Then calmly folded his hands in front of him 私は父が働く研究施設の中で育てられましたその施設で働いているのは父一人だけだったので私は成長するまで父以外の人間を見たことがありませんでしたしかし何しろ生まれた時からその状況ですからそれを不審に思うことさえありませんでした He wouldn't allow me to go near him when he was working But the only times he wasn't working were the times when he was sleeping. I'm gonna manually click through this. No, I. Okay. As such, the only communication that I had was the education software he'd given me. I suppose this was a fairly expressionless child back then. We developed body language to communicate with others, but with no one else to communicate with, I suppose it makes sense. Once I learned to read and write, I began to realize my situation was not normal. Many of my books mentioned the mother as part of the family, and in several, the mother, the father, and the children would make meals together and talk to one another. Soon I found myself longing for a mother of my own. Someone who would always be with me, who would scold me if I ever did anything wrong. At night, they would read to me before bedtime. If only I had a mother like that, I thought, I would be so happy. So, for the first time in my life, I asked my father for something. He had finished working and, as usual, was making his way towards his bedroom when I stopped him and asked for a mother. He looked at me soundly for a long moment before finally responding, Okay. I remember to this day how happy I was in that moment. A few months later, he called me into his laboratory. It was the first time he'd ever done anything like that. My heart was beating quickly as I stepped inside. Standing next to him was a young woman, and my hopes soared. But when he said her name, or rather her ID number, they were dashed. He had given me a robot to play the part of a mother. I didn't want a mother that was just a machine who did what a human told her to. When I told my father that, he looked surprised for the first time in his life. Then he frowned, coughed, and admonished me for being a whiner. He never scolded me for anything before. At that, I was surprised. Then angry. Hot tears streamed down my face. My father ordered the robot to take care of me, and shooed us out of his lap. The robot was very convincing, and she smiled and spoke as if she was a real person, but I refused to answer her and locked myself in my room. You can talk to a robot, and it will respond. But in the end, you're still talking to a machine, not a person. If that was what I'd wanted, I'd still have the education software my father had given to me. When I ignored the robot as it tried to take care of me, it looked sad. I couldn't really, it couldn't really be sad, of course. It was only programmed to look that way. A robot's facade of sadness didn't mean anything to me. After that, I stopped expecting anything from my father. We'd never really spoken to begin with, so it was easy enough for me to make sure we never saw one another. I lived my life as if he didn't exist. Perhaps it seemed strange to you that I continued to live with him, but I never considered leaving. Perhaps it was in the hidden depths of my dark heart that I longed for a relationship with him. Everything changed when I was 18. I left my room one morning to find a woman standing outside of it. She was the first human I'd ever seen, apart from my father, and I was understandably surprised. For a moment I thought my father had created a new robot, but when I told her that when I told her that she laughed and explained that she'd come to help him. As it turned out, she was a very mysterious person. She was much older than I was, but something about the way she behaved was almost girlish. She would tell me stories about the world outside in such a way that I was never sure if she was telling the truth or making up fantastic lies. Ultimately though, the truth didn't matter, I loved her stories. She wasn't helping my father directly with his research, so I spent most of my days with her. Before long I discovered she'd known my father when he was young. She told me stories of how she'd fallen in love as a younger man and began to imagine that person he'd secretly in love with had been her and that she was, in fact, secretly my mother. After that she'd settled in with us, our long-established routine began to change drastically. First we started to eat together. Before then, I had never shared a meal with anyone in 18 years. 
She scolded me for my lack of table manners, or more accurately, the lack thereof. If I was going to eat with others, she said, I would need to learn to be more polite. Having eaten alone my entire life, manners had never been something I'd ever thought about. My father got in trouble too when he made the mistake of reading through research papers during dinner. The look of surprise and embarrassment on his face made me burst into laughter. I couldn't remember the last time I'd shared a laugh with my father. It might have been the first time. The way we considered our living room changed too, but, but before it had just been another room, but she made it comfortable. After we finished our dinner, I would sit on the sofa and relax with her and my father. Those times were the one I cherished the most. For a little while after the day and my family had been arranged, I can't remember why I'm going with a sentence. I belonged to her ever since I was a child. At her suggestion, I started to help my father's research. He specialised in genetic engineering, and I discovered I had an interest in this as well. Time faded away as I lost myself in research. Now that we were working and studying together, m my father and I had a great deal to talk about. For the first time in our life, we began to speak to one another like a father and son. Whenever I impressed him with something I'd learned, I felt a sudden surge of happiness, and it drove me to study even harder. My days felt full, right, and meaningful, but most importantly, I was happy. Four years passed in the blink of an eye, until one day I happened to overhear my father and the woman speaking in the laboratory. The tone was serious, so I listened closer. Curious to know if, what they were talking about, that was when I heard her say that she'd planned on to give her life to achieve their goals. It was clear that she wasn't being metaphorical. She would have to die. I was in shock. The research I'd thrown myself into would lead the, to her death. I asked my father to stop his research immediately. He refused to listen. She agreed with him. She told me that she had come, been prepared for what she had to do since the day she came to our facility. My father had known about it from the beginning as well. Angry and disappointed, I began to investigate exactly the research I had been helping with was working toward. Perhaps I thought I could figure out ways to keep her alive. I discovered much more than I bargained for. To begin with, I learned that the ultimate success of my father's research would require a good deal of sacrifice. And I also learned that my own existence was just another part of his projects. I had been created to function as my father's spare. If he died during his research, I was intended to continue it in his place. I was stunned. I was furious with my father, and with her, and even with the research I poured myself into for four years. There was only one thing to do. Destroy the facility and end my father's horrible research once and for all. I made plans to destroy the main reactor and with it the entire facility. But she saw right through me. My father was livid and locked me in my room until his research was complete. All I could think of was how I might stop him. She did her best to convince me that I misunderstood and that everything would be fine. As much as I wanted to believe her, I remembered in the back of my mind that she had been the one who pushed me to become involved in my father's research. Had that been an earnest desire to keep me something to do with my life or... Still, I couldn't bring myself to hate her. She would given me a reason to live. Even if she had conspired with my father to mould me into his replacement, the warmth she'd shown me had been real. She'd made me feel as if I had a real family, and that was something I wouldn't give up for the world. I pleaded with her to leave, but she quietly shook her head. Shook her head. There was someone very special to her, she told me. He had helped save her life once, and she felt her death would help to repay that favour. This is 100% older Carney. I'm calling it now. Like, who else? She would have lived like... No. She would have liked nothing more than to marry him and live a happy, normal life together. But she couldn't. For his sake, she said, and for the sake of the future that she had wanted, she was determined to see my father's research succeed. I realised that the, although she was the most important person in my life, there was someone more important than me and hers. She tried to explain that beyond what we could see was a future where no one would have to die, but I refused to listen. What good was a potential future to me? It was what I had now that I wanted. I couldn't stand to think of what, that she would give her life for a man I'd never seen. So I shut myself off from the world. Perhaps this is why I lost my memory. God damn it, Kay. Kay let out a deep tired sigh. Sumimasen. And with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. We're nearing an hour long. Um, tell me what you thought of my Kay voice. I'm not a trained voice actor at all. Um, like, my vocal range, at least when I'm being myself, is pretty wide. Uh, when I'm being someone else, no. <laughs> um, but what hour are we on now? Um, overwrite that save. <clears throat> hour 24. I've been playing this game for a full 24 hours, and I honestly could not be more happy than that. So, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a thumbs up, possibly subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave a comment down below. But, with all that said, and all that aside, thanks for watching, guys. Tune in next week for another episode of Virtue's Last Reward, because I really want to finish this game now. And peace out.